Welcome to the St. Leo University Conferral Ceremony. Congratulations on achieving your degree. Uh, great accomplishment, and we, we really appreciate you picking St. Leo University for that accomplishment. We do wish you could be here face-to-face, uh, -face, and we wish we could have uh, celebrated a commencement ceremony this year, but that wasn't to be. Jonas Salk once said, the reward for work well done is the opportunity to do more work. That is our lot, and that is your challenge, class of 2020. But you're lions, you're leaders, and doers, so I know you're ready to go. I'm here today to make the conferral of your degree official on behalf of the Board of Trustees. We have planned for you uh, three events this year, and this conferral celebration is the first of those three events. The second is a celebration under the stars, which has been traditional for us to do that the evening before uh, commencement, and that'll occur uh, at homecoming, God willing, and, and uh, things clear up uh, at that point. Uh, it'll be a party, basically, uh, out on the quad between uh, Kirk Hall and the SAB building. So please uh, consider coming back for that. And then third, in May of 2021, we will offer a separate uh, commencement ceremony for the class of 2020, allow you to celebrate with one another and with your families, family and friends. I want to uh, mark this occasion uh, by telling you a couple of stories. And uh, I think these stories allow me to get uh, some advice across and some message across that I think is important for, for you to consider uh, at this point in your career. First, I want to tell you a story about my dad. And my dad owned a, a small construction company and uh, built houses. And one Thanksgiving, came home on Tuesday night and my friends and I went out uh, that evening and had a lot of fun and stayed out very late. Uh, came home, uh, fell asleep, and at 5.30 on Wednesday morning, my dad came into my room and woke me up and he said, uh, time to go to work. And I looked at him in disbelief and he said, no, no, really, it's time to go to work. And, you know, I love my dad, so I, I listened to uh, what he wanted and I knew he needed my help if, if he was getting me up that early in the morning. And uh, what he needed was he had a, a small hotel project and uh, the bathrooms needed to be demolished so he could uh, redo them. He handed me a sledgehammer and said, okay, get to work. Uh, the dumpster's out back, here's the wheelbarrow, go for it. So I went ahead and uh, started work. Uh, about noon he came and got me and we had lunch and brought me back to the, to the site. And then at 5.30 in the afternoon he came and got me and, and uh, said, okay, it's time to go, uh, really appreciate uh, your help. And, you know, till the day he died, I, I'll never forget uh, what he did after that. He handed me a $20 bill and, you know, remember back then, 1977, $20 still wasn't a lot of money, but it meant a lot to me because he was recognizing that, you know, I worked hard for him and, and he told the whole family uh, throughout that holiday weekend uh, what I had done and he was proud of his college boy being able to, uh, to work that hard. So the, the point of this story is um, don't look for the reward for the job before you do the job. Do the job. Do the job. The reward is coming and you can count on that. Sometimes it doesn't come right away, but the reward is coming. You have your degree and you're ready. Anything in life worth accomplishing is going to take that kind of work. And my second story. So uh, I've been doing this work for about 24 years. I was a faculty member for 10 years, loved, loved every minute of that, um, but moved into administration and I became a provost. And provosts are essentially the chief operating officers of their universities. So we keep, uh, keep the trains running, keep the schedule running, keep the library buying books and so forth in the background. In fact, I've worked for 10 presidents and they were excellent in their own rights, but there were two that I questioned two separate institutions that uh, they came in while I was already there and had a different vision for the institution. And on top of that, they weren't particularly good at listening. Uh, they weren't particularly good at, at allowing people to uh, implement uh, their visions and, and uh, move forward, move the institution forward like it needed to be moved forward. They didn't see a lot of value in consultation and collaboration. That was inconsistent with 
what I was interested in doing and how I generally operate. I loved both those universities and uh, I had to leave because I made the decision that uh, it was time to leave. And I could do so because my wife is supportive and, and I had a situation where that allowed me to do this. And I'm the kind of person that, that questions things and, and looks at things in a different way. So the message in the second story is, remember our value of respect and integrity. Those values are important. You need to respect yourself and you need to have integrity. And when it's time to leave, if your career takes you there, you need to leave. Don't do it on a whim. Don't do it as a knee-jerk reaction or quickly, but do it because it's the right thing for you to do. And do it the right way. So have integrity about it. Give notice and, and make sure you do it with respect. I hope that you never have to make those decisions, but for the rest of us, you generally will have to make this kind of decision in your life. I guarantee you, you'll be happier. Pay attention to it. Be ready for the opportunity to make a change in your career. Again, you'll be happier for it. And my third story, and I promise this will be the shortest of the three. Now that I'm president, I read about 20 books a year. And again, I'm, I'm so humbled by uh, what others know that I don't know. And I can't think of another way to acquire that knowledge than reading books. And today, you know, you think about uh, uh, what the future holds. And a lot of the books that I've read are about the future, about the future of higher ed or the future of uh, work in society. And you know how prescient is that uh, given the pandemic that we're all living uh, through at this point. So what I'd ask you and what I, what I learned from this reading uh, that I'd ask you to learn from your reading and from your professional, staying professionally current is read. Look for things to read. Look for everything you can get your hands on in your field to keep current. Your degree is a starting point. Your degree is not an end point, right? So you got to read. You got to keep current with, you, with your field. Second, I would say pay attention to information and data. So it's okay to be on social media. It's okay to Twitter, Facebook, and so forth. But you also need to pay attention to your professional literature, articles, and trade journals, things like that. That's very important for your field. And then third, uh, what books do for you is they give you expertise. I would say in your, in your life, in your professional life, seek out that expertise. Seek out people that know more than you do or that have an expertise that you don't have. You're gonna end up making better decisions. You're gonna end up being more successful. So congratulations. Wish you all the best and, and uh, we're gonna miss you as well. Uh, you've been great students. You've been wonderful contributions to the community. May God bless you. Go Lions. Hello, I'm Dewey Mitchell, current chairman of the board of St. Leo University. On behalf of the St. Leo University Board of Trustees, I would like to congratulate you, our class of 2020 graduates, on your academic accomplishments. While the ending to your academic journey may have been derailed, I'm confident that it will not prevent you from achieving God's purpose for your life. Yes, this unprecedented situation is making life difficult, but if I know anything about our St. Leo graduates, it's that with a little faith and hard work, you will prevail. Looking back, I can recall many times where life took me in a different direction, one that I didn't expect. All it takes is one text message, one phone conversation, or one incident to steer our lives into a completely different path. I'm sure many of you have big plans ahead for your graduation from this wonderful university, which you should as you head out into the next chapter of your life. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos says to be stubborn about your vision, but flexible on details. I think this is solid advice. While we cannot predict the future, what we can do is hold tight to our values and vision for our lives. Keep working hard and then the rest will follow. Growing up, I developed an interest in Judo, which is a form of martial arts. I took classes and practiced around the clock to hone my skills, eventually earning a black belt and having a chance to make the 1980 U.S. Olympic team. It was the opportunity of a lifetime, something I'd been working toward for years. But all that changed when our country boycotted the Olympics due to the Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan. In what seemed like an instant, my chance to compete was gone. 
you can probably imagine my disappointment. But those years of practice and hard work were not in vain. It served a purpose in my life by helping me to meet my future business partner. After playing football together at the University of Alabama and taking judo classes together, this friend and I were able to take a small real estate firm and build it into a successful business that it is today. And eventually I did get my opportunity to go to the Olympics in 1984, serving as the captain of the judo team. So as you do head out into the next chapter of your life, remember that things may not turn out the way that you expect and there will be difficulties. But ultimately, if you hold tight to your vision, keep faith, stay open to new opportunities, do the activities that lead you to success, and let our St. Leo University core values serve as your compass, you will always be headed in the right direction. Best of luck to you, class of 2020, and congratulations on achieving this significant accomplishment of earning your degree. Thank you very much, and God bless. Hello, members of the class of 2020. I'm Mary Spoto, the Vice President for Academic Affairs here at St. Leo University. Congratulations on the great accomplishment of earning your degrees. In these unprecedented times, you have much to be proud of, demonstrating not only your academic accomplishments, but your perseverance and resilience in completing your degrees under challenging circumstances. Like you, we wish that times were different to send you off in our traditional commencement ceremony and celebrate in person with you, your families, and friends. And we look forward to sharing that time with you in the future. But although the times do not yet allow it, we are glad to mark this very important milestone with you virtually. Know that we wish you every happiness and success as you move to the next stage in your lives. For now, this virtual conferral celebration acknowledges the awarding of your degrees and with it, the start of an important time that lies ahead. It's a time that will not be without its challenges, fears, or its disruptions. But whether you are heading into a new career or to graduate school, we are confident that the education you received at St. Leo will serve you well. Use your learning to make you stronger and more adaptable thinkers, and use your values to act with purpose, making you more informed and compassionate people who serve and have a positive impact on your communities and who can face the future with grace and self-assurance. We know that you will bring your best to everything you do, and we have every confidence that you're ready for what awaits. We look forward to seeing you at commencement. And again, congratulations. St. Leo University Class of 2020, congratulations. You've achieved an amazing accomplishment and we are so very proud of you. We celebrate you, not just the degree and the new letters behind your name, but all that you've accomplished just to get to this day. We celebrate the hard work, the long hours, the discussion posts, the group projects, all of the essays. Because of your experiences at St. Leo, you think differently, you feel differently, you walk and you talk differently. You've changed in ways that have prepared you to make a difference. So go do it. Speak up, stand out, take up space, change the world. Congratulations. Greeting. Today is the best day of my life. My most sincere greetings to each and every one of you. You are St. Leo University's graduating class of 2020. You are entering a brave new world, a world where you will have to guide our nation all of our people through a period of adjustment and change. I ask each of you to see the world through the eyes of a blind man. Eyes that do not see gender, color, religion, or ethnic differences. Eyes that do not judge one another yet, conveys the message of equality and respect for one another. Eyes that recognize that our diversity is what makes us strong. Eyes that allow us to overcome prejudice. Each of you has the responsibility for change. Change for the good of all mankind. Change for the purpose of continued survival. You are the shepherds of those words altered on July 20th, 1969 from the surface of the moon. One small step for man. Now it is just up to each of you to guide us into one giant leap for mankind. I'm excited for the opportunities that you have, the responsibilities that you will confront. I am excited for your future success. Surely we are stronger together than we would be separately apart. In your own way, each of you are lion ready. 
ready to change society and guide us. Ready to make this a better world for all of us to live in. I am Dr. Philip Neely Jr., Chair, Undergraduate Criminal Justice, St. Leo University. I am sure that you won't remember a word I say, but I trust that you will remember how you feel in this moment. At a time when the superlatives abound, I'm sure that you feel lots of things, joy, pain, excitement, contentment, worry, or some combination. Harness those feelings and let them direct you. Remember, it only takes a tiny tweak to make massive change in the world. Hearty congratulations, Lions. Roar. Congratulations, graduates. I'm Dr. Holly Atkins. Commencement is defined as both a beginning or start, as well as a ceremony that celebrates the completion of a degree. We gather today in honoring each of you and the work you have accomplished during your time at St. Leo University. We are also here to celebrate the beginning of your next steps in your lives. You take these steps in a world unlike other graduating classes, a world in which you and the academic and spiritual growth you have experienced at St. Leo are greatly needed. May the core values foundational to who we are as a university community be your North Star, continuing to guide you and to lead you. May God bless each and every one of you. Congratulations. You've achieved an indelible milestone in your life. But it should be only one of many. Learning is lifelong and constant. Approach each day with the curiosity of a child striving for the wisdom of change. Prepare and embrace change. The challenges we face are temporary, but the metal to confront them should be never end. Finally, I extend an offer I send to all my students. Email me and I will take you for fine dining in St. Leo's Cafeteria. Hello everyone, and congratulations to St. Leo's graduating class of 2020. We wish all of you the very best in your future endeavors as you leave St. Leo. Take care. Hi. My name is Dr. Ebony Perez, and I'm the chair of the undergraduate social work department here at St. Leo University. I wanna say congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it. What an unprecedented year it has been so far. However, I believe that it is setting you up to make an amazing mark on our society and our culture. I look forward to seeing what you have in store for all of us. I honor you and I pray that as you move forward, that you will meet and achieve and far exceed all of your dreams and goals that you set forth. So take care, congratulations again, and always remember here at St. Leo, you have a pride of folks behind you. Go Lions. Congratulations, St. Leo graduates. I'm Dr. Williamson from Sport Business and I just wanna let you know there's a great big world out there for you. To the class of 2020, congratulations. I wish we could be all together to celebrate, but this isn't the first time you've been through adversity. From hurricanes to university transitions and now to a global pandemic, you've been through more than any class I can remember. But despite all that, you've thrived. I've seen you excel in the classroom, shine on the stage, dominate on the fields and courts, provide wisdom in meetings, and grow in your faith. The people in this class have set a standard for excellence that will far outlive their time at St. Leo and your perseverance makes us all proud to be Lions. Good luck and may God bless the St. Leo class of 2020. Hello and congratulations to the 2020 St. Leo University graduating class. My name is Amber Loring, class of 2006 and MBA class of 2007, and I'm honored to be speaking with you today as a representative of the St. Leo University Alumni Association. Your journey began long before the coronavirus pandemic and it will continue long after. Earning your degree is the product of years of hard work, late nights, and dedication. I hope you feel proud of this achievement and that it helps lead to amazing new opportunities. So while the ending to your academic year likely did not end up as you envisioned, know that there are more than 95,000 St. Leo alumni worldwide cheering for you. I hope you will continue to be an active member of the St. Leo community through the events and programs offered by the Alumni Association, including some exciting programs that are being planned especially for the class of 2020. No matter where your life takes you after today, you always have a place at St. Leo. 
Once again, congratulations, Class of 2020, and welcome to the St. Leo Alumni Association.
everyone. My name is Anna Murphy, and I am your commencement speaker for our spring 2020 graduating class. This has been a difficult year for everyone, as we quickly found ourselves living under new and uncertain circumstances. However, as Lions, we didn't let anything stop us from finishing what we started. So wear that lion pride as you step out into a new world ready to start your new and exciting journey. I wish everyone good luck and congratulations on your success. Hello class of 2020, we did it. And how blessed are we to be graduating in such an iconic year. We are part of a special generation of graduates that are contributing to changing the world. Despite the many challenges we faced while completing our degree, we didn't allow it to sway us. What an accomplishment. Think about it. If we've made it so far, there's no telling how much farther we can go. As we go on to our future endeavors, let's remember how we overcame against all odds and earned this first degree. And let it be proof to you that you can take whatever life throws at you. So here's to a St. Leo Lions class of 2020 pact that we will never let ourselves or anyone else set us back in working hard to achieve the desires that the Lord has placed on our hearts. So God bless you, God bless St. Leo University, and long live the Lions. Hello, congratulations class of 2020. The world in which we live has never been more uncertain and there has never been a greater need for what we, the Lions of St. Leo, with our core values that we stand for, have to offer. I'd like to leave you with a quote from an unknown author. It's not where you are in life, it's who you have by your side that matters. Again, congratulations, Clouds of 2020. Go Lions! Hey, you guys, guess who it is? It's Destiny, live in the flesh. I'm missing my St. Leo Lions so, so, so much. I just wanted to get on here and just make sure I say to you guys that no matter what you're going through right now in this season, that greater things are coming. I know it's really weird. We're not having graduation. We didn't get to say our final goodbyes. But with all that being said, I'm still resting in the fact that greater is coming and that I'm not going to allow what I'm going through right now to determine the outcome of my future. So that same message is the one that I give you guys. Do not allow what you're going through right now to determine we are trajectory in life and where you're going in the future. We got this. We are founded on some of the best things that can happen at St. Leo University. Our core values are going to stick with us throughout all of this. So make sure you remember that you're going to go far in life. Hi guys, just to say a huge congratulations to the class in 2020. I know you probably ended this year having no idea that it would have ended this way. This has been a challenge for everyone and you guys have pushed through and got what you needed to get to graduate. I'm so proud of every single one of you and I can't wait to see where you end up in the future. COVID-19 might ruin graduation but your future is just as big as you want it to be. I'm proud of you all, and I can't wait to see where you end up. Stay safe, stay healthy, and go Lions. Hey everyone, congratulations. Class of 2020 has a wild ring to it. Whether it was an international pandemic followed by murder hornets and the threat of World War III, we survived and we got our degree, which was the goal. But that's not it, we're not done. We have to make this world a better place from where we got it. And I know that each and every one of you can do that. Bred at a small school with a tiny cafeteria, but plenty of chairs and tables, we learned that there's room for everybody at our little table, no matter how diverse, no matter how different we are. And we're gonna use that power and make this world a better place. Again, congrats. with my third degree from St. Leo, a Master of Arts in Theology. I wanted to take a quick moment to thank God for his many blessings and my family and friends. You have all been my inspiration and motivation. Only if you are shown on the screen that there are countless numbers of you all that mean so much to me. I also want to thank St. Leo for the many experiences. From working in the alumni office while attending on-campus classes, visiting campus for sporting events and spring carnivals, watching my son and little cousin participate in your youth baseball clinics, just chilling by the pool and instilling in my children where they too want to go to school. 
You are more than just a school to me, but a shining example of your core value of community. Lastly, to my fellow graduates, you have the knowledge and the will. Each and every one of us possess an amazing set of skills that got us here to our graduation day. Now the possibilities are endless, and all I got to say is SLU Class of 2020, we're on our way. Hi, fellow St. Leo graduates. My name is Sarah, and I am a criminal justice major. I want to say good luck on all of your future endeavors and pursuits. By coming together and collaborating, we can overcome any challenges, but we must have the strength and courage to stand up for what is right. Your voice is important and you matter. I am proud to have attended a university that emphasizes how important it is to incorporate the St. Leo core values into everything that we do every day. So again, class of 2020, good luck, stay well, and be safe. Bye. Hi, my name is Walt Lehosh, department manager for the Hillsborough County Public Schools Application Center. I am a St. Leo bachelor's degree graduate from May 2010 and St. Leo master's degree graduate May 2020. During these trying times and uncertainty in so many aspects of our lives, I encourage you to take the time to reflect upon our blessings and to be proud of our recent accomplishments as students of St. Leo University. As I am, please be thankful to those that have supported you throughout your educational journey and be grateful that you have been given the opportunity to become ambassadors for higher education as alumni of St. Leo. I am wishing everyone the best of health, safety, and success. Through all of the obstacles, trials, and tribulations, we persevered. While this chapter of our lives is ending, another one is just beginning. You will stumble and fall. You will experience both disaster and triumph, sometimes in the same day. Grow from the disaster as much as you do from the triumph. When you fall, make sure that you fall forward. The past is nothing new for you. Make each day count. Do not spend your days waiting for a better one to come. Make the day you are in better than the one before it. Be better than you were yesterday. Don't let your voice get lost. Be the voice for those who do not have one. Always show integrity. J.K. Rowling said, we do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. So imagine better, do better, change the world. We all have the magic in ourselves to do so. Congratulations, class of 2020. A few months into this journey, you may have wondered to yourself or muttered out loud, how am I going to do this? Or what have I gotten myself into? Chasing a dream is never easy, but it's worth it. The journey of life, brings both challenges and opportunities. As you have conquered this feat, continue to seize your chances and beat the challenges. Live life to the fullest and give it nothing but your best. You are brilliant, capable, and ambitious. You did it, I did it, we all did it. Well done, class of 2020. Although we may not be celebrating our successes in the way that we imagine, it does not mean we do not have so much to be grateful for. Let's not allow these unsavory circumstances tarnish several years of hard work, late nights, and exciting memories. Instead, let's be thankful. Thankful for lifelong friends we made, as well as professors, coaches, and faculty that mentored us to become who we are today. Let's reminisce on how great it was to see familiar faces while walking to class, casually stopping at Benedict's for a warm cup of coffee, and cheering on our dedicated athletes with roaring pride. Most of all, let's be grateful for our loved ones who supported us since the day we started at St. Leo University. Sometimes when we think fondly of the past, we just as much needed hope for the future. And now the future's ahead of us. As Lions, we have the ability to push through adversity with gratitude of the great moments we shared. Let's look forward to the future with unwavering strength and continue to be strong leaders for years to come. Congratulations, God bless, and I wish all of us in the class of 2020 enduring success in all that we do. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Eleni Marilakon, and I'm going to share with you guys an inspirational message. Your life is your story, and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. By Carrie Washington, congratulations class of 2020. We did it. Congratulations class of 2020. We did it. I know this year has been a hard one, but we pushed through and we overcame all the challenges that we faced, and I'm so proud of all of us for doing so. 
We should look at this unusual way of ending our college career as a unique experience that is only going to add to the countless memories that we made at St. Leo. Graduating today is showing us that a new chapter of our life is about to start. And no matter what you're going to do next, I wish you all the best. Congratulations again and go Lions! Hey everyone, you might not recognize me without my usual headgear. I just wanted to say congratulations to the class of 2020 and thank you to everyone who helped us get here. I wish you all the best of luck in whatever comes next. And again, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Today, I hope each of you take some time to celebrate all of your accomplishments. While the last four years have gone by in the blink of an eye, that for me, they have been the most formative years of my life. I'm sure I'm not alone in that. I know that there are people, events, inside jokes, sports, clubs, even classes we will miss, but that just shows how much St. Leo has meant and will continue to mean to us. Spend some time today remembering all of those good times, thank everyone who has helped you get here, and then start preparing for every amazing thing you will do in this world. Each of us has so much to give. Good luck and God bless.